What you're trying to do is you're trying to do the deep thing the way God designed somebody else to do it. You're trying to fit into the mold that this church did it, or that company did it, or that brand did it, or that creative did it. And God says, my deep has a design for you. I just feel another sense of authority at this current moment to just speak to this generation. We will not be powerless. On this six year anniversary, I'm declaring to you right now, we about to step into the deep. And we're gonna see God do things that nobody thought was possible. And I'm, I'm, I'm calling, this is a clarion call for a generation of people that don't wanna just sit around and have Bible studies and then go out and watch pornography and live the same. I'm talking to the people that wanna say, yeah, I dealt with it and yeah, it had a control over me, but the power of the Holy Spirit came over my life and I went to the deep and I, something changed on the inside of me and I became something that was different and now I have the ability to reach back in grace to reach back with mercy and bring other people. I want the dynamic and it only is found in the deep. Can I prove it to him, Charles? When I talk about prophecy, so many people were impacted by what happened last week when we had the water on the stage and all this different stuff that God did. And I was so grateful to be able to do that. But do you know what I found out last night when the Holy Spirit would not get up off of me? He said, Michael, there was a woman who came last year and she prophesied to you. And I was like, okay, God. He said, find that prophecy. I'm literally 10 o'clock last night. I called my mama. Is this the truth, mama? It's the truth. I called her and I said, mama, do you remember the lady who came and prophesied? I don't remember what she said, but God ain't got up off me that I need to find this prophecy. I found that prophecy at 1030 last night. Oh, I love God. And, 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 and he said, I want you to listen to it. Me and Natalie are laying in bed. And she says this one line that made my wife that's pregnant sit up. And she said, are you serious? And I want you to hear what happened last week. God spoke a year ago in exact form form because he wanted me to know that what he's doing in my life and in this church and in your life is going to be dynamic. If you've never thought prophecy was real, I want you to take a listen to this and see that God wants to do the dynamic in the deep. After that, it says music can never leave you. It is just in you. It's piped in you. As much as you preach and you keep hearing these songs, you keep hearing this song, and it's getting ready to be a whole production where you actually literally can see yourself up preaching and you've already produced every single thing, the sound, the clouds, the stuff that's going in. It's like it's going to be to, okay, the closest I can see it is like, you ever went to Vegas? Mm -hmm. Okay, and when you go to Vegas, I don't know if you ever seen that when they did the, 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 that show that, uh, oh, when they transformed the stage to water, yeah, yeah. to... It's something, yeah, Cirque du Soleil. And they change the stage to water, to dry. That's the kind of stuff that you're wired for. And it's gonna be such a major production. Oh, y'all don't even wanna, y'all don't even wanna see. A year ago, almost to the date, God sent a dynamic person that was in the deep to speak to me and say, I'm taking you deeper. I never thought what happened last week would ever happen. But she said, even down to the clouds and the water, and it's like a big production. We didn't even have this a year ago, but God sent a word to let me know that he was thinking about the dynamic while I was still in the shallow. And I don't know, oh, I feel this thing right now. I don't know who's been okay being in the shallow, but God has dynamic on his mind. And the dynamic only happens in the deep. Nature even tells us this. There are certain creatures that you will never see until you go to the deep. We want fish that we can put in a tank. But this is what God wants some of our 2021 to look like. Put that picture on the screen for me. This is the type of dynamic creation that God has lying under the surface for you. <sighs> what if that was your business? <clears throat> 
What if that was your family's generational wealth? What if you were raised in a certain life? But what if God called you to go to the deep to present something that's never been seen before? I want you to look at this darker picture right here. That's a boat, and that's the tail of a whale. I want you to see that the dynamic God wants to do in your life means that you got to make a decision to go to the deep. The only reason we're sitting here as a church is because I decided I'm going to just go to the deep. Well, a black person's never done that before. I just got to believe that what he said to me, that we'd be a multi-ethnic, multiplying, multi-generational, multi-campus church. Like, I guess I just, I, I just going to say it. And I just going to launch out here in the deep. I guess, I guess everybody won't uh, go with me, but I guess, I guess we'll go. I, I'm trying to use my life as we celebrate this anniversary as a marker that there is no qualification that separates me from you. Many pastors want you to feel that they're better than you, but I need you to know I am not better than you. I am at the same level as you on every aspect. I still got to love my wife. I still have to watch out for temptation. I still have to pray to have a relationship, not to study, to be able to have a relationship with God. I still get mad and I still want to slap people who cut me off. Let's be honest. The only difference is that I decided that I'm just going to live in the deep. So if God calls the church to 21 days of prayer and fasting, and then he whispers to me 45 days. But I chose to live in the deep. When everybody in my family doesn't want to get together and reconcile, but God says, you go apologize first. And then I say to God, it wasn't my fault. And he said, but you're my servant. I've decided to live in the And can I give you another point? I want you to write this down because some of you think that God's trying to toy with you or play with you or just make like, oh, look at them. They're down there struggling. No, baby. Everything that God does is with a design from the very creation of the sun and the moon that comes up like clockwork on different sides of the earth and how the orbit is now in place from one word that he spoke. God is a master craftsman and a builder. And what I want you to know is the deep situation God has you in, the deep situation you even got yourself in. If you would give him control and let him be your anchor, the deep has a design. There is never one time that God calls you to the deep that he's not designing something so special. The deep has, everybody say design. There is certain things that will not come out of you without the deep. And there are certain things that God can't do in you until you don't have control no more. Do you know how daunting it was to step in for Bishop Gary McIntosh? Did y'all see Bishop? He white. He's conservative in his communication. He's powerful. He makes wise decision, calculated decision. He does all this other stuff. And then he handed it to me. <laughs> and at the time, I felt that I had to be like him. If you watch any of my old footage, I had on suits every Sunday. Pink, yellow, blue, <laughs> green. I had every kind of suit you could imagine because for some reason I thought if I was gonna be deep, I had to be in his design. See, what you're trying to do is you're trying to do the deep thing the way God designed somebody else to do it. You're trying to fit into the mold that this church did it, or that company did it, or that brand did it, or that creative did it. And God says, my deep has a design for you. I didn't come into who I was until I fully stepped in to the deep waters God called me to. And he said, I designed the deep to get something in and out of you. 
I think I got to give them the progression because a lot of y'all want to go to the deep, but you think you're deep, but you're not there yet. And I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a parallel off of what God did with the disciples because it is, it, is, it is our ultimate goal to be disciples of Jesus Christ. So let me help you understand the progression of going into the deep. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.